100 days. That's how many days I've been vlogging. How to pick up this poster for Nick. We'll talk about that in a sec, and we'll talk about vlogging for 100 days. Additionally, we gotta talk about this conference that I'm at here in Massachusetts, but don't worry, it all ties together that, the poster and vlogging, so by the end of this video, it'll all make sense. All right, so real quick, what am I doing in Massachusetts at this conference, and what is this conference? So this conference is a marine tech conference, and if you don't know, Nick is a marine technician and has been for the past three years in Bermuda. I'll link some videos up here for that. Um, anyway, Nick has recently given me an opportunity to write software for his company in Bermuda, and that was really great, and I'm grateful for that. And now Nick has given me another opportunity to come here and shadow a professional videographer and see if that's something that I want to do in the future. So as you know, I quit my job and I'm not sure what I want to do for the rest of my life. And I'm just kind of up here experimenting pro bono, which means I'm not getting paid for this. I'm just kind of seeing what it's all about to be a videographer and see if that's something that I want to do. So some of you might think, well, Tony, you vlogged for 100 days, you obviously like to do videography stuff, but there's a huge difference between vlogging and being a videographer because when you vlog, you have 24 hours, and I'm talking about daily vlogging here. When you daily vlog, you have 24 hours to put out a video, and there is no room for perfectionism there. But when you're a videographer and you have clients and they're paying you, there is potential for perfectionism because you need to meet a certain standard of video quality to deliver to your clients and that is where the difference lies between you know just daily vlogging and being a professional videographer. So in other words both professional videographers and daily vloggers make videos. We all know that. But daily vloggers I feel have a lot more opportunity to be creative, to make mistakes, to try different things and they almost have the permission to be less perfect because they're making videos every single day. And so the punchline here is that if I do ever want to become a professional videographer, doing stuff like daily vlogging and shadowing other videographers are a great way for me to get the experience that I need to you know, step into this field because honestly, all I know up until this point is software and just knowing software is not gonna be able to allow me to transition from that field into the field of videography. And becoming the best at it and mastering myself and seeing what I have within me. If you decide to drop your buckets where you are and develop your gifts, I grant you, you'll never ever be without. I grant you that your gifts will take you places that will literally amaze you.